Whoa, do you want to know how I got this cool skater? Wow, you got to subscribe and stuff. Look at my Christmas skater. He's so cool. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Anyway, so yeah, this is how you make a skater, bro. You go into edit skater. You go into edit skater again. Then you go here. Then you go into this. You go freaking huge. You go thick. Big and thick. That's what it's like. Yeah, you go into button shirt. You get this cool shirt because, you know, why not? Where, is it? Where are they? Where are they? Yeah, that's right. You wear the diaper. There you go. Then you go into shoes. Where's the flip-flops? Is there flip-flops? I don't remember. I think there is. Go down. There's no flip-flops. Are you serious? I'm pretty freaking pissed. There's no flip-flops. Yeah, let's learn how to make a skater. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lasers, and today we're going to be remastering the first episode of Learn the Trick Line. So we're going to freaking teach you how to make a skater like this. Look at my skater. He's amazing. Look at my gestures. I'm going to teach you how to get gestures too because apparently some people don't know how to get gestures. And it's funny because I did don't know when I said that and I didn't even try it. Body mods. We go into body mods. You got skin. This is where you can change your ethnicity, I guess. Um, so yeah. If you want to be African American, I suppose you could do this. And if you want to be very pale, then you could do this. Me, personally, I try and do right here. Yeah, probably right here. Um, okay, so when it comes to hair... There's a different thing, because <clears throat> some people have emo hair. Like me, most of the time I have emo hair, but I'm using like the, the straight long right now. And you're probably wondering, hmm, why are you using straight long? Don't you usually use the long emo hair? And that is true. I usually do use the long emo hair. But the thing is, the long emo hair is part of the Skate Create DLC that everybody can't see because it's DLC. So basically, only the people who have the DLC can see your skater. So yeah. Here's the gray hair. Yeah, I don't know why my hair is gray. I usually just go off of the colors that I use. Yeah, I'm going to choose green, actually, because you're going to see now in a sec. Body shape. Uh, this is where you could basically go freaking skinny or you can go freaking huge. Like, yeah, <laughs> sometimes I go huge just for fun. I don't usually go very skinny, but like, yeah, like right there is pretty good. Um, facial presets. That's just changing up your face. I'm pretty sure not as... Okay, no, that's just a custom shit. No one cares about that. Okay. <laughs> the eye, brow, nose, jaw, mouth, chin, you know, all that stuff shit's your face. You can change that shit up, I suppose. Full beard. Yeah, I got a beard. Big whoop. Upper tattoos. Some pretty cool tattoos. I got the flames on my left arm there, you can see. Yeah, so I've had that for a while now. So, yeah, that's where you can edit your tattoos. Merchandise. Okay, so this is basically where all the DLC stuff come in. These little things... Like, I don't know what the frig that symbol's supposed to be, but that's basically the symbol for DLC. So, if I wore this hat right now, n the people who don't have the DLC wouldn't be able to see my character just because I'm wearing that hat. So, for me, I seems like there is no good red hats here. Okay, that one's decent. Okay. I'm gonna put it backwards because I like putting my hats backwards. <laughs> Go to t-shirt. Um, okay, so, for the t-shirt, I'm probably gonna choose a red one. So, as you can see, there's more DLC shirts that you can pick. But me, I'm probably, like, gonna pick, uh, I wanna pick one that's, like, the same color hat as my, same color hat, same color red as my hat. I could pick this one, but it's DLC, so people wouldn't be able to see it. And I don't like that. I'm gonna pick this one, I think. It's not, it's a little bit more red than the hat, but it doesn't matter. You get the option of having it long or short. So I'm just gonna have it long, because, I don't know, I like covering my crotch and my ass, because... You know, my skater don't have much of an ass. He ain't very thick. This is the button-up shirts that I barely wear, but, you know, they're, they're there. Uh, hoodies, yeah, don't wear those very often either. I usually just wear t-shirts, but, you know, jackets, yeah. Sweaters, yeah. Pants, okay. So here comes the pants. Uh, yeah, the memes in the first one was I said that <laughs> it changes uh, mobility, and I can't really, I can't really get over that because, or, like, I can't really make up for that because basically... Back then, I had no clue what lag was, so whenever I changed my skater, like, my skater would feel different because my internet connection was crap, so basically, I always thought it was like, oh, man, my, my pants are making my skater so slow, but no, it's just my lag, so, like, right now, whether I wear freaking shorts, baggy pants, or freaking diapers or whatever the frig this stuff is, freaking little shorts, um, <laughs> yeah. Either way, it's going to be the same thing, basically, so it's not really that big of a deal. You see a lot of comp players wear shorts, and I like to wear the baggy pants sometimes. I'm going to get the custom pants and just turn them green. Go to shoes. Uh, there you go. But, yeah, there's other shoes here, you know, DLC shoes as well. 
socks, long socks. These striped socks that you don't see people wear very often, but they still wear them. And there's the custom long socks, and there's just the custom short socks, which half the time you can't see because you're wearing pants. That's if you're wearing pants. If you're wearing shorts, then it's different. Uh, glasses. Okay, so here's all the cool glasses. DLC has a lot of cooler glasses, but you can't wear them because people won't see them. But if you don't care, then go right ahead. Me, I'm just sick of all my friends seeing me as default, so I just changed it back. The aviator glasses were one of the glasses that were really popular back in the day. I think it's mainly because, like, I think Albert used to wear them. I don't remember. Honestly, I don't really care. But, <laughs> um, uh, but me, I wear these now. Like, these little, like, yeah, aviator dark ones. Because they're not deep. They're not, like, really bulky like these. They're, like, huge. They're, like, take up, like, half your face. But, like, with these, they're, like, smaller. So, it's, like, better, in my opinion. Anyway, here's the decks. Yeah, so, now this is where it gets interesting because... As you can see, I have a colored grip tape, and you're probably wondering, Oh, wow, lasers, how do you get a colored grip tape? I'm going to show you, okay? But the thing is, not everyone can do it, and that's why you'll go on, like, the skate community stuff on Xbox, and they'll say, like, Oh, I want a yellow grip tape. Like, and that's why. <laughs> because uh, you go into team logos, and as you can see, I have one, two, and three, and four, right? Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, you get this little square when you had the graphics on the go. And basically you just expand it like crazy and then you just change the graphic and then whoa you got a colored grip tape now the real thing is getting a realistic one like I can just do it right like the one I did just then <clears throat> yeah you just have it like blank and it just looks like a piece of plastic but I'm just gonna keep it like that for now see the thing is when it comes to the realistic ones I'm pretty sure there is a certain way to get the realistic ones but I didn't do it back in the day so basically I'm just like trial and error I gotta go through a bunch of logos until I find one that looks realistic like I did with the purple one. Like, and I will do that with the skater, it's just I'm not doing it on camera because it'll take too long. <laughs> and trucks, you wanna find a pair of trucks that matches your board, cause like why are you gonna have that board and then have like freaking golden trucks, like that makes no sense. Um, but like, hey, if you're not particular over that stuff, then they have more power to you, I suppose. Okay, there we go. And wheels. Um, I'm gonna pick green wheels. Do we have green wheels here? We do have green wheels, but they're kind of a weird green that I don't want, so can I pick the black green wheels? Uh, that's not too bad, I suppose, is it? Eh, I'm really picky over this stuff. Um, okay. Yay, so here's my Christmas skater, I suppose. Uh, let's actually make him a green, let's actually give him a green hat. Hey! Okay. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. The trucks and wheels, I forgot about this. Okay, so when it comes to trucks and wheels, I didn't explain this in the first one, because I was stupid, and I just like, basically, it was like, oh, you just do this, and then like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, so basically, like, it, like what it says there, if you do looser trucks, it basically wobbles more at high speeds, but you can turn quicker, or like, like sharper. And on the higher ones, it's basically the opposite, where it wobbles less, but like, your turns aren't as sharp. So basically, for trick lining, you're gonna want them loose because you're gonna want to be able to do sharp turns and like high speeds don't really matter because unless you're doing like some crazy line with like, like the crazy speed glitches that I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, like you're not really gonna need it. Meanwhile, with competitive, you're actually going to want tighter trucks because you're doing you're always doing those. Uh, crazy gaps and transfers with the with the like hardcore freaking try hard runs that give you like 30 40 thousand and then you gotta finish it with finish it with the freaking you know like comp or whatever <laughs> um but yeah well and you know death racing as well obviously um when it comes to this so basically if, yeah for trick lining you're just gonna want to put it like to like probably like the lower three it's really just preference me, I remember in the first one I had like one and two, I think. But now I have it like two and two, I think. I think. <laughs> I think, I think, I think. Um, but yeah, okay. And when it comes to wheels, yeah, soft wheels make you grip better and hard wheels make you slide more. So basically, if you want it hard, if you, if you want it hard. <laughs> if you want it hard. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, hard wheels make you slide more. So for comp, you're gonna want them hard so that you can do the ghost reverts and stuff. And for trick lining, you're gonna want them soft so that you grip better to the ramps when you're transferring and stuff. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. No, I don't know. Revert flipping too. So I suppose if, 
I'm pretty sure there are people that do have hard wheels for trick lining, so that the revert flips are more like, like you know, don't grip as much and are easier to do. Me personally, I never really had much of a trouble with it, so I usually just keep them soft. But it's really just preference, I suppose. Uh, oh, should I go through the gestures and stuff? Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, because people said that like they don't know how to do gestures. I, I think I said that earlier. Did I even explain it when I said it? I don't know. Anyway, high pump. You're gonna want high pump for the speed glitch thing. <laughs> I already showed you in like the fourth episode, I think. I don't know. Yeah, basically you're gonna want high pump as your top one. Now here it comes thing. I'm not sure. I only did the speed glitch a couple times, but there's like a new fancy speed glitch where you gotta like do the shrug and it makes you go like super fast. I think it's like one of the fastest one in the game that's actually decently consistent anyway you're probably gonna want to make your left one shrug for that one like for me you could make shrug your top one if that's like your main speed glitch you do like i still do the same speed glitch i did like five years ago so like i have high pump as my top one and i do and i keep shrug as my left one for when i do the fancy one so and then there's these two that i just do for you know style aspect and so like here's handcuffs the one that people always ask about I, I get i get that though some people are like new to the game they don't understand that but like yeah anyway so basically what i'm saying is handcuffs is right there i got the time too because i have a watch on i didn't even show that part when i was editing my skater because i barely change it but yeah if you want to see it it's like right here it's in accessories you go into glasses wrist necklace and rings most of the stuff you gotta unlock through the game career but you probably already know that um yeah, so here's uh, where you change your gesture. Gesture. So if you want the fancy handcuffs one, here it is. And stance, goofy or regular? My tutorials are in re in goofy, not regular. <laughs> so basically, for regular, you basically just take everything and just put it backwards. Honestly, just learn the stuff through the trick guide and regular, and it's basically the same thing. Like for revert flips, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Uh, Friggin' seatbelt, it's just the other way and a different control for the seatbelt. And even then seatbelt, seatbelt is a comp trick though. So like, yeah, you shouldn't even have it in your trick line tutorial. Yeah, bro, uh, it's because seatbelts make it look better and makes it easier to land tricks. You'd know that if you just learn the seatbelt like I told you to. And you'd be like, wow, this is actually really convenient. Yeah, because I taught it to you because of that reason. It is very convenient. Style, I actually have standard now because I was doing comp. If you go, if you're trick lining, a lot of people use OG, but you can't do a tray flip, dark catch, uh, one trick with OG, which is why you can go to standard if you like doing comp and trick lining. But yeah, if you just want a trick line, just go with OG. I, I think OG is the best for just trick lining, but me, I do, I do some comp too, even though I barely tray flip anyways. But yeah, if you want to, do tray flip freaking dark catches and shit yeah do the standard one i suppose <laughs> me i'm probably just gonna stick with standard for now so i don't have to really deal with it but yeah og is really good too um posture default straight hunched a lot of people do comp do straight uh and trick line is usually hunched or default uh, some people i don't know it probably is some people that do trick line with straight but you know i don't know who they are <laughs> Uh, I usually do hunched, as you guys know, but I don't know, I find hunch is just really awkward when you're doing comp. It doesn't change the gameplay itself, it's just weird to me. So, for me right now, I'm just in default, but yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll go into hunch just for, you know, nostalgia, I suppose. Anyway, here's my Christmas skater, yay! There's no Santa hats in it, though. Like, ones that I can't change anyway, it's just like normal boring beanie, which is like really annoying. Oh my god anyway yeah I think that's pretty much it yeah so I probably made this tutorial way longer than it needs to but I don't really care because I want it to go over everything and I did so yeah here you go um so yeah that's pretty much it if you like the video subscribe comment like learn how to trick line I suppose with my other videos even though they're crap because I wasn't able to freaking do anything with them because I was like 14 or something I don't know so yeah, I hope I basically covered everything. I gotta stop stalling. But yeah, oh, that worked a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, but that's pretty much it. This has been Lasers, and I will see you guys later. Bye.
Cause I